Hey everybody, it's Mr. N here, and today we are going to uh, do a practice problem for the AP test. Uh, this is an accumulation net change problem, and it resembles one that was on the AP test. Um, so let's take a look at it and see what uh, we could do with it. It says, the rate at which people enter a large theater to see the new movie, Mr. N Becomes a Math Jedi, is modeled by the function E of T equals 1254T squared minus 574T cubed for T between 0 and 2 hours, E of T is measured in people per hour. No one in the, no one is in the theater at time t equals zero, so we know it's empty, and the doors close when it, so nobody else enters after time is uh, t equals two. So a uh, couple things to point out that are really important in this problem. First of all, this says that it's a rate, so this is a rate. Uh, second thing that we can uh, point out is um, that nobody. No one is in the theater at time t equals zero. So there is no initial value for this. All right, so what we know is E of t is a rate. So let's take a look at this. How many people are in the theater when the movie begins? So when the movie begins, I want to know the amount of people that are in that theater. So if I have a rate and I integrate a rate, I will get a total amount. So that's what I'm looking to do. So a rate is a derivative, right? So that's like e, a rate is like a, I don't want to write it as e prime because this isn't e prime. It is, it's a rate. So let's erase that. So this is our rate, which is like a derivative. And if we integrate a derivative, we get the net amount, the total amount. So that's what we're planning on doing. It's like the area under the curve. So over here, we want to know when the movie begins. So we want the integral from 0 to 2 of e of t dt. So this ends up being the integral from 0 to 2 of this 1254. Remember, this says calculator required, by the way. Uh, t squared minus 574t cubed dt. And I'm going to put this into my calculator. Now, here's something handy. Put this as y1 in your calculator. Put this whole equation in as y1. So then when you put it in your calculator, you could say the integral from 0 to 2, and then you just put y1. So you'll use the f and int feature, and then you just put y1. So you don't have to keep writing the equation over and over. Um, so that's just a handy little thing for you guys to do. So I put it in my equa I put it in my calculator, and this comes out to 1048 people. All right, let's move on to the next problem. So for this one, uh, it says, find the time when the rate at which the people enter the theater is a maximum. So I'm looking for a maximum. Well, there's a couple ways to do this problem, but they want you to justify the answer. I mean, you could, since it's a calculator part, you could graph it and look for the maximum. Um, but you need to test the endpoints. That's something that's really important on this one. Why? Because we want an absolute maximum. That's what we're looking for. We're, we want to know when this rate is a maximum, but this tells us that we need an absolute maximum in this case. So what we want to do is we want to take the derivative, e prime of t, the derivative of this rate, because we want to know when the rate is a maximum, and set that equal to 0. So we have e of t equaling 1, 2, 5, 4, t squared minus 574 t cubed. Take the derivative, and you'll get... 2508t minus 1722t squared. Set that equal to zero. You could take a t out. I know this calculator, but I'm just going, going ahead and doing this by hand because it's not too bad. Um, oops, I took the t out. So um, this is 1722t equals zero. So you get t equals zero and t equals, well, that's going to be 2508 divided by 1722 and put that in my calculator. I wish I could pop a calculator up over here, but this software doesn't do that. And that comes out to be 1.4564. So here's what we got. We have t equals zero, and that's an endpoint because we start at zero, right? And we're going to two. So that's one of the endpoints. So we need to test t equals 1.45. 6, 4, and t equals 2. So we're going to test all these. So we'll be testing e of 0, e of 1 point, this is 4, 5, I don't know why I put 
1.4564 and E of 2, which is the other endpoint, because we are looking for an absolute. All right, so let's take a look at this. Put this in the calculator. Well, I don't really need to. We know that that's going to be 0 based on the equation. This one comes out to be 886.676, and E of 2 comes out to be 424. So therefore, our maximum rate is at T equals 1.4, 1.4564. Hours. All right. Let's move on to part C. Okay, in part C, it says the total wait time for all the people in the theater is found by adding the time each person waits, starting at starting at the time the person enters the theater and ending when the movie begins. Okay, so real quick, right here, this. This stands out to me, adding each time the person... So this stands out to me as some sort of sum. So we need some sort of summation, which means we need some sort of integral, possibly. Let's continue reading on and see what happens. Okay. And ending when the movie begins. The function W models a total wait time for all the people who enter the theater before time T. The derivative W is W prime, and they give us what the derivative of this is, because we don't know the equation. Um... And it's 3 minus t times the e of t. Find w2 minus w1, the total wait time for those who enter after, that's something important, after time t equals 1. All right, so let's take a look at what uh, all this means. So we are given this w prime of t, which is 3 minus t times this e of t. And we know e of t from above. Okay. So um, we need the total of this. So we need the total of this. So this is an integration. So we know that w of 2 minus w of 1, this is, to be able to solve this, and I'm saying from 2 to 1 because that's what they tell us, and we're starting at time t equals 1 this time, that would be the integral from 1 to 2 of this w prime of t dt. So we know what this equation is. From W2, uh, W2 minus W1 is just the integral of that. So that's what FTC tells us, and that's why I'm using this. So moving on to this. So this is what FTC tells us. So moving on, let's find out what this integral is. From 1 to 2 of 3 minus t. Now remember, E of t, I put this in my calculator as y1. Remember I told you to do that? Because now you don't have to keep entering the equation in over and over. And I put this in the calculator, and it comes out to be 1176.8 hours. All right. Let's move on to part D. So let's take a look at what we have. And it says, on average, how long does a person wait in the theater for the movie to begin? All right. Consider all the people who have entered the theater after the doors open and use the model for the total wait time from part C. All right, so let's take a look what we have. Uh, after the doors open, this means T equals zero. And total wait time from part C, this, is, this tells us that we have three minus T times this E of T value. And this, on average, tells me that I need an average value. So I've pieced this problem together. And what do we know about average value? Well, we know um, that it's 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of, and in this case, we've got our uh, equation from part c, which is our w prime of t, dt. Okay, so now what's a and b? Well, we go from 0 to 2, so we can work this out. In fact, I already know what the total people were from this problem, from this part. That gives us what happened in those. And in this case, we had 1 in part A. We solved it, and we had 1048. That's the total people. So I have to take this and divide it by the total people. That's what the integral tells me, the total people over, that, over those uh, bounds, total people. All right, so let's do that. So we've got from 0 to 2. Those are the times. And we've got this W prime of T, which is 
3 minus t times e of t. And remember, I told you to put this as y1 in your calculators. That way, when we enter it in, it's there. I don't have to retype the equation over and over. And I work this out, and I get an average wait time of 1.7191 hours. All right. And this is an exact type of problem that they like to put on the AP test. They love these accumulation problems. I'll probably do a couple more examples, um, so check uh, on YouTube for the other ones. But uh, hopefully this helped. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you're subscribed, and uh, good luck on the AP test.